Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can create maps in Fantasy Grounds using tiles. This is similar to a previous video about how to make maps using the paint tool. You can check that out up in the cards. To start off, we're going to come over and open our images. Move that to the side. Make sure you're on uncategorized. Next, we're going to come over and open up assets. With assets open, we're going to come down to the search bar and search for shock bolt. Every Fantasy Grounds user should have these image files pre-installed, which is why we are using them as an example. We're first going to grab a background, and we'll just grab this cracked mud, drag it over to images. That will create a new image for us. You can zoom in and check it out. We can turn off lighting for now. All right, with this done, we're going to come back to the Shockbolt Game Master Art Kit. It should look like this. And we will start grabbing tiles. Maybe do some stone tiles. I'm going to come over and look for a vertical hallway like this one. Drag it over. Change the size to 2. And now we can place that down. Drag it over. Place down some walkways. Maybe we'll end it there and we'll go do something else. We'll now grab this T section, put it in. Remember, change your width and height to two. And we're going to rotate it, place it in. And we got this nice little T section. We can come over here, grab an end cap. Remember, resize it, rotate it upside down, place it in, cap off your dungeon. And we've got another hallway we can do something with. Let's look for a horizontal hallway. Resize it. Bang, bang. Maybe we grab a, uh, a corner now. Once again, always resize it. Drag that in. Now we've got a corner, but we've got this little spot that's kind of open now. So we need to find one of these pieces. Drag that in, resize it, put this corner down right there, and now you can see it creates that kind of natural corner look. And then come back to our vertical hallway, resize it to two, and place it right there, and keep going up. And then maybe up here, we will just cap this dungeon off, and it's a nice little Quick and short dungeon crawl. When working with tiles, if you place one out of position, you can always grab it and move it around. We can also switch to the layer selection tool. You can grab any one of these layers down here and grab them and move them if you need to. The middle here, this is the image's center point. That's what it will move and rotate around. Each one of these points can be clicked and dragged to extend its size. I'm just going to shrink that right back down. We can grab this and do them both. We're just going to put it back to two by two. You can grab this top point and rotate it if you need to. So we want to rotate this wall for whatever reason we want. You can then rotate it back and it fits. All right. Now with this simple tile set made, let's go and grab a couple of doors, pull them in. Remember, we want to resize them to two by two. Place a door in there and it lines up. We'll rotate it and place another door up here as well. And we will drag that to the top of the list so that it displays on top. Looks pretty good, right? And you'll notice if we come over to line of sight, all of the line of sight is pre-done for you. You can see that the doors are set up as doors. The walls are all set up as walls. It's all ready to go. All you've got to do is open up your combat tracker, grab your players, drag them in, grab an enemy, drag them in. Go over to play mode. We can turn on line of sight. And you can see it works just fine. Player walks over. There's a door. Door is shut. We open the door, come on in. Oh no, another door. 
As always, this also works in 3D view. You can move on up to the door. Yeah, we can't see the goblin right now. We open the door and boom, there's a goblin. And that is a quick and easy explanation of how to build maps in Fantasy Ground using tiles. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified when we post more content like this. Remember to also leave a like to let us know you enjoyed this video. And if you want to know more, please visit fantasygrounds.com.